As you hit the open road, remember, AAA membership is your ticket to unforgettable moments and more. AAA, we're always with you. I was on the freeway when all of a sudden I got hit. My back was hurting, my neck was hurting. When you think about a lawyer, you get scared. How much am I gonna pay? You know, this is gonna be expensive. I called Jacoby and Myers. They never once talked about money. All they cared at the time was about my health and about my well-being. That made me feel very comfortable, very at ease, not worrying about financials. I would definitely recommend Jacoby and Myers. They treated me like a human being. Jacoby and Myers will fight for the justice you deserve. And if we don't win, you won't pay a penny. Jacoby and Myers, because everyone deserves justice. Now at four, violent assaults on the beach near the Santa Monica Pier. A homeless suspect is now in custody, accused of trying to rob one woman and drown another. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. And today we are hearing from one of those victims whose day at the beach quickly turned into a nightmare. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf is live in Santa Monica with the story. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hello, Sam and Sandy. The latest attack involving a homeless person here in Santa Monica, as you said, happened early yesterday morning. It happened near Lifeguard Tower 13. We're not far from the California Incline or PCH. The suspect is now in custody facing multiple felony charges. And today we spoke with one of the victims. Jenna Wilker talks to Santa Monica detectives one day after a series of brutal attacks on the beach, all involving the same culprit. Wilker is one of the victims, and police are also calling her a hero. Wilker lives on the beach, sharing that she is homeless. She was jolted early Monday morning by the screams of a teenage girl who was lying on the sand near Lifeguard Tower 13. A man was on top of the 17-year-old, choking her. I just pure instinct ran over, uh, told the dude to get off of her. Uh -huh. He basically just ignored my existence till I got physical with him. I yeah. pushed him off of her. He clocked me in my face pretty good and then uh, attacked her a second time. The second time I attacked him, just tackled him, got her free. She ran down here. He had a hold of my neck a couple times and I, dude, I've never seen somebody so devoid of humanity in my life. It was scary. What was his motivation? Any idea? Um, with me, I think sexual. Um, I don't know with the other victim. Um, he did try to pull my pants to the side, my boxers to the side. Um, that kind of indicated it and in him biting my ear almost clean off. <laughs> like he, oh he sunk his teeth in. Wilker somehow was able to snap a picture of her attacker. You can see part of his face and arm. And that was not the end of the ordeal. A lifeguard intervened, and then the man, who Wilker had seen in the area the night before, focused his attention on an older woman, believed to be around 70, dragging her into the water and, according to witnesses, trying to drown her. Do you feel safe on the beach here? Uh, not necessarily. I do have a nice group of men who keep me safe. And if it weren't for other kind homeless people out here, other people like myself, I probably would have been already in that predicament myself, which is why I jumped forward. All right, the three victims are going to be okay. Santa Monica police identify the suspect as 31-year-old Jawan Dwayne Garnett. He is a registered sex offender appearing on Megan's list. This case is the latest one involving violence and the homeless community in the area. We will have much more coming up in the next hour and throughout the night. For now, reporting live in Santa Monica, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chris, thank you. The L.A. City Council demanding answers from the city of Burbank, accusing officials of homeless dumping. At today's council meeting, members voted 13 to 0 to have the California Attorney General's office and others investigate this June 6th incident. 
The video shows Burbank police officers appearing to leave a homeless man in distress in North Hollywood. The officers left the man on the sidewalk outside the office of L.A. City Council President Paul Krikorian. His office received the video and Krikorian called the officers' actions inhumane. KTLA 5 also received a statement from the city of Burbank. A spokesperson writes in part, quote, the city of Burbank welcomes any investigation and is in the process of conducting its own rigorous internal investigation. As images depicted on video don't always relay the entire situation, the city of Burbank cautions against inflammatory rhetoric and a rush to judgment without the benefits of the investigation findings. A Glendale police officer has pleaded not guilty to one felony count of assault for his role in a scuffle at the Glendale Galleria where he's accused of kicking a teenager in the head. The incident with Officer Gonzalo Zendejas was caught on video. It happened during a shoplifting arrest in 2021. At the time, police said they were struggling to detain a shoplifting suspect who was resisting. Zendejas will make his next court appearance at the end of August. He is facing up to three years in county jail. In the Inland Empire, a surveillance camera captures the moments before a homeowner prevents a burglary that could have put her elderly mother in danger. The Upland homeowner had just left for work. It was just before midnight when she received a notification on her smartphone. She saw burglars attempting to storm her house with a very vulnerable person inside. KTLA Shelby Nelson uh, joins us live from Upland with what happened next in a story you'll see only on 5. Shelby. Hey, Sam and Sandy. Yeah, imagine being home alone when you suddenly hear these people trying to break into your house late at night. That's what happened to one grandmother who was still very shaken up by what happened. Luckily, they have a surveillance camera system that her grandson and her daughter were able to watch in real time as one of them rushed home to help. Whoever it was knew where everything was. There would be burglars that Jamie Asanovich wasn't letting get away. It was 11.30 Monday night. She stepped out to make an Uber Eats delivery while her mom stood at their Upland home. My mom called and she's like, someone's at the door knocking. On the, and I could see them on the ringer. And I said, okay, well, I'll be there in a minute. Don't answer the door. But within seconds, Jamie's mom calls back fearful, saying that there are people on the side of the yard. So they came from here, and then my, our bedroom window is right there. That's they took the screen off right there. Her mom had turned on a light. She says that led to at least three people hopping the fence after having removed a window screen. Jamie arrived to find them running. They get into a silver sedan waiting out front. From there, she follows them and calls 911 while telling the dispatcher their every move. When they got onto the freeway, I kind of lost them because of diesels and the lights were off. She gets off at the Archibald Avenue freeway exit in Rancho Cucamonga before locating the vehicle, which then turns into an apartment complex. Police arrive a short time later, eventually arresting five suspects, the driver, an 18-year-old female, and the rest juveniles. Inside the car... We did find some flashlights, uh, a screwdriver, and um, a hammer. Some of the juveniles were sight-released. Um, one of them was booked at Juvenile Hall. The adult was booked and it was for uh, attempted residential burglary and conspiracy. Upland police say the teen booked into Juvenile Hall was on probation for a previous theft-related charge. Meantime, Jamie and her mom are shaken. My mom turned the switch on, and that's when they got scared and jumped over the fence. That's when I got here. But it's like, what if it was open, and you got in, and then she flipped the switch? What were you going to do to her? So scary, and Jamie believes that these could be local high school kids who know her daughter, who is out of town, by the way, in a